Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. Constable Tanya Vizintin, T-A-N-I-A-V-I-S-I-N-T-I-N. Uh, I have two uh, noteworthy investigations to speak to you about. Uh, the first one is an update from a collision that occurred yesterday uh, involving a 14-year-old girl. So it was just around 2 p.m. when the 14-year-old, sorry, 15-year-old victim was struck by a gray Mercedes as she was crossing uh, West 16th Avenue at Wallace Street. Um, she sustained some very serious life-altering injuries. She was immediately rushed to hospital by paramedics. Um, this 15-year-old remains in hospital where she's still undergoing treatment for her injuries. Uh, as of right now, she is ex expected to survive, but like I mentioned, her injuries are or will be very life-altering. Uh, the driver remained on scene. He is speaking with our investigators. Um, our collision investigation unit is taking the lead on this investigation. We did immediately deploy our school liaison officers to the school to provide a support to uh, the other students that, as you can imagine, were very impacted by this very serious collision. We also have provided our uh, VPD's victim services uh, to the family of the victim and again to any other students that were impacted by this, this incident. Um, we are appealing to the public, anyone who uh, is in the area who saw firsthand what happened, we want you to call our investigators. We also want people who have cars equipped with dash cam footage to call our investigators. We don't specifically have a time frame or location. If your car was in that area of Wallace and West 16th around Lord Bing uh, School, we ask that you call our investigators, 604-717-3012. Any questions on this one? Uh, people have been saying online that there is no crosswalk there as opposed to on the west side of Bay. Is that true? At Wallace, there is, to get across 16th, there is no designated crosswalk. So right now, um, um, how this incident happened, whether uh, or whose fault it was, so to speak, that's all uh, going to be part of the investigation. And on also why we're appealing to the public, any independent witnesses who who were there, who may have saw from a bird's eye view of what happened, we want them to call our investigators. Um, and yes, that's something uh, that we will look into, crosswalks, um, pedestrian control, traffic lights, all of that will, will form the investigation. Uh, alcohol, drugs, or speed believe to be a factor in here at all? I don't believe alcohol and drugs are factors for this one. Or speed? That's something that is going to form the investigation. Could you just describe the extent of her injuries? Like, is she going to be able to walk or we don't know? That? So I don't know at this point. She's still in the hospital. But from what I do know uh, right now today is that uh, these injuries were very, very serious. At the time yesterday when this occurred, uh, it was life-threatening. Um, it, it's now going to be life-altering. What that means, we don't know. But uh, we do believe that uh, the impact of this collision is going to affect her greatly. 2 p.m. is not late at night. There should be lots of people, and you said it's end of school. So is there, is that this company the Anno School? That's right. This happened uh, uh, in the afternoon, right near, or it was close to a school end. Uh, again, lots of people driving by in, in the daylight. So um, we know that there are people that were in the area. We know that there's cars parked that will have dash cam footage. So we are appealing to the public. If you have information, um, please call our investigators. Is the VPD, do you have traffic concerns about that stretch of West 16th Avenue through Kitsilano? Not to my knowledge, no.